とびっかちゅう。What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Yeah, uh, it's finally here, and yeah, we're going to be going back to the Kanto region mainly because, well, we got a Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and give it a trial run right here with how I'm going to be recording stuff. Now, this is the very first recording on a Nintendo Switch on a capture card that, you know, I personally bought that I have had for, you know, my old football gaming channel and all that stuff and as you can see right here it's gonna be a big one it's gonna be a wild one and we're gonna start off with Pokemon let's go Pikachu just uh, just to let you guys you know just to show you guys how to how it's done so as always we're gonna be talking to Professor Oak right here hello there glad to meet you welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Oak people affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon professor and of course, he's going to be throwing out a Pokeball, and look at that, Cubone. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions, others keep them as pets. As for myself, try to read faster, I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. Now... Yeah, we're not doing this by computer. We're actually, I'm actually like standing up, looking at my 32-inch screen TV, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be funny. So just like you know, whenever I upload this this walkthrough video right here, guys, I'm gonna upload the, I'm going to upload the picture onto my Instagram. That way you guys can see how I'm recording this bastard. So as you can see, you have a choice between male and female. She's looking great. And you can de you can definitely t change the skin tone and everything, hair color and all whatnot. Not, but as you guys already know, you've seen me talk to my little uh, baby girl Aaliyah. You guys already know, I got that coconut, coca mocha, uh, skin tone right there. So yes, we're gonna be picking this. I look like that. And how about a name, hmm? And well, well, here we are. Gonna name myself. Yes, guys, it, the name stays the same because I am a badass. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. Oh, yes. Draven. And yes, uh, if you don't, if you have a name uh, more than 12 letters, I feel bad for you guys. So, there we go. Right! So, your name is Draven. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, would you look at that? Pikachu's just running away. Who the heck is this guy? This guy looks like a... Uh, <laughs> he has the head of like one of them uh one of them uh, vegetables that you throw in Mario Brothers. This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What was his name now? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so took me a while to actually figure this one out because in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee you have a new rival, red, blue, and quite possibly green are in this little uh, bastard. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to Bulbapedia and, uh, let's see, find the name of this person right here. So let's see, let's see, let's see, Pokemon, let's go Pikachu, I can't even spell Pikachu right here, Pikachu, rival, name. Okay, and okay, so we didn't know this. He's a new character added to this whole thing right here. So we're going to be naming him Trace because I guess that's what his name is. I don't know. We're just going to keep it storyline right here. So there it is, guys. The man, the myth, the legend, Trace. It is. Tr it was Trace, was it? Yep. Mm-hmm. I see his name is Trace. There's Pikachu just looking around. Look at this guy. Draven, my boy! Your very own Pokemon tell us about to unfold. Hmm. 
Yes, as World of Dream Adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. No pun intended. Okay, look at that. Walking into the light. We must be dying. I don't know. Okay, so here we are waking up into our new room right here. Look at that. There's a Nintendo Switch. And, whoa! Look at that. Look at that. Stud Muffin in 3D. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Take a look at that, guys. Take a load off. So, as you can see, new improvements into our new room right here. Our bed here. We can't practically lay down. And, well, here's a little bit of a change. We are not gonna... We're, we're not able to get a, a potion here. This guy is like, there's an email from Trace. Hey, Draven. So, here's what you need to do. Need to know as a trainer. Press A, and you'll talk to all kinds of people. And if you tilt uh, the control stick more, uh, you can run. Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress, too. Boy, I can't wait to get started. Can you, Trace? Well, I guess we need to get started right here. Now, a few things that need... They, well, that has changed right here. Let's see. We press the X button. There's really nothing that we can do right here until everything's done, but... Yeah, we're going to get started. I'll explain uh, further away, guys. I know. And before we do anything, he's like, I'm coming up! Up in Adam. Oh, damn. Morning, Draven! The heck? What's going on? You've got a weird look on your face. Oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came uh, to get you. Today's finally the big day! We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers! Oh, but before we do... The heck? You read the email I sent you yesterday, right? You'd better have. Check your computer if you didn't. I kind of read that. I'm going to book it to Professor Oak's lab. So see you there. Okay, well, we, we already talked... Well, we already read the email right there, so we don't need to do that again. So we're going downstairs right here, and we're going to meet our mama. Where's mama? Of course, she doesn't have her room right there, but she's cooking up some dinner lunch or something whatever what time it is off to professor oak's lab uh trace asked the professor to give you uh the or to give the two of you pokemon of your own didn't he yes he did she's not much for words or anything like that okay so let's go right ahead and look at that pallet town in 3d and i'm looking at this through the uh, 30 uh through a 32 inch tv right here so yeah, it's 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 high quality HD, all that fun stuff. I feel great about it. Anywho, Draven's year 2020, the year of uh, many uploads and walkthroughs. No thanks to the pandemic that is still going on. Now it's very apparent the, re the reason why I picked this game. It's very easy. I got through it in a breeze. Like I got through this in like two weeks, and. Kind of know the ins and outs, so that's exactly why I, you know, I'm bringing it to you guys right here. That way you guys have extra material to watch, especially since, you know, it's a Nintendo Switch, and I'm always, uh, I'm always, uh, late to the party right here. So consider this me going into the party of Nintendo Switch games, because eventually Pokemon Sword and Shield will come up. So anywho, uh, let's see. This is Trace's house, what used to be Blue's house. So let's go inside and see what's going on right here. Uh... I'm assuming that's Daisy right there. Oh, hi, Draven. Looking for Trace? He went to pick you up. Did uh, did you miss each other? He said he was going to go to the professor's lab with you. Okay, well, let's go to the professor's lab and see what's going on right here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, professor's lab. And look at that. We're going to be going in here. And there he is. Okay, so we're walking. He... There's two Pokemon left, so apparently somebody's already gotten their Pokemon. And I'm kind of mad if that was a Charmander, because if it, if it was, I'm going to go crazy. Oh, Draven! Professor Oak isn't here. Uh, do you think those Pokeballs hold Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine! Okay, so as always, he's not here, so we're going to try and locate this guy right here and uh, see where it goes. So here we are back in Pallet Town, and we're running, we're running... And would you look at that? It's Professor Oak. Well, my good PG, thanks for the help. Hmm. Let's see, look at that. I think I understand you all a bit better now. Thanks for this. And they swoosh by. 
Ah, if it isn't Draven. This guy has no fear walking into that grass. Oh, of course, I promise you. Uh, I promised to give you and Trace a Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... The heck? Hmm? What, what, what's this? Oh, damn. It's a Pikachu. Okay, so here it is, guys. Our first encounter uh, against a wild Pikachu. Oh, you encountered a Pikachu. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected a Pikachu to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw a, your Pokeball and try and land it on the wild Pokemon for, chan for the chance to catch it. And, well, as you can see, hold your Joy-Con horizontally and point it straight at the screen. With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready, uh, to ready uh, a Pokeball. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that right now. I played this whole game as, you know, Nintendo Switch hold, like holding both, you know, cons right here. But this is my first time trying to do this, so... Okay, so here we go. Pressing the A button. You can throw a Pokeball by waving your, uh, your Joy-Con. Just don't forget the surroundings as you go waving the Joy-Con around there. Yeah, you might throw it on the TV and all that stuff. Okay, so... Okay. All right, throw that ball and come on, stay in the ball, stay in the fucking ball, stay in the goddamn ball, and he stayed in the ball. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign. Okay, alrighty. So that was pretty simple. It's not gonna be that easy, guys. But there it is, first Pokemon. That was a pretty fun performance for a first time, or my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Pikachu you caught a name? Hmm. Uh-oh. What in the... The heck? Oh, this Pokemon... Now, that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one! And... Bam! Hey! Wait! Come back! Where in the hell is this Pikachu gonna go? Okay, so now there's three Pokeballs. What in the... Okay, Professor Oak! Those Pokeballs there, I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three! Ah, perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy! You see, one of them is a Pikachu that Draven caught just now. So wait, Draven, you caught it yourself? Yes, I did, and look at this guy, he's just bouncing up and down. What? I've never seen that happen before! Ho <laughs> ho how interesting! Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good uh, hold of it this time. All right. So we're going to go to the Pokeball. Uh, Trace, out of the way. Okay, so it's the middle one right here. Press that button. And what do we have? Wow. Wow, the cut screens are pretty odd. Look at this guy. Okay, already so. Look at that. And we got ourselves a Pikachu, guys. Look at that. Hmm. What a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem like to say like staying in one place. But it looks like as though it has taken a shine to you, Draven. Why not give it a name? Now when I initially played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I got a female Pikachu, and obviously, you know, I named it Aaliyah. And actually, it's pre I think it's a, a good thing that, you know, uh, we're getting a male Pikachu right here, because we've had Aaliyah featured in Pokemon Leaf Green, Omega Ruby, right now in Pokemon X. So, let's go right ahead and just, like, welcome back our good old buddy from Generation 1. Yes, guys, the return of the king himself. Getting more screen time right here. We're going to name this guy Sparky. The Sparky Pikachu. So there it is. Sparky the Pikachu. Has been added to the party. That's right. Okay, alrighty. And of course, Trace is going to be like, Professor, I choose this one. And he's got an Eevee from Professor Oak. 
Okay, well, you know, it's vice versa when you play Pokemon. Uh, let's go Eevee and Pikachu. So now let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Oh, for a new trainer to catch his first Pokemon themselves. Even I've never seen such a thing. Okay. I guess. And would you look at that. Pikachu is actually following us right here. Just like the original game. Sparky turned your way and grinned happily. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our party right here. Now, there are quite a few changes that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee has done. Such as going to the bag. You go into the Pokemon box right here. This is like your PC. So now, if ever you want to capture a Pokemon and want to add it to your team and all that stuff, it is right at your fingertips. Just go straight to your uh, your, your Pokemon bag. Go to your Pokemon box, and right there you're going to find your Pokemon. As you can see, we got the essentials like the candy box, clothing trunk, medicine pocket, TMKs, catching pocket, battle pocket, and power-up pocket. Just a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, are essential and all that stuff. And then, of course, in our party... Our good old buddy Sparky is back on our team, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this Pokemon have. So, original trainer, Draven, the nature is jolly, came to Kanto region through some mysterious force. And of course, as I'm recording this, it's the last day of August, and we caught him at Pallet Town. As you can see, 1 foot, 11 pounds, and let's see the more details. As you can see, it has 3 moves right now, Thundershot, Growl, Tail Whip, and well, its stance is pretty okay right now. But eventually, we're gonna we're gonna get this Pokemon to, uh, to grow levels and uh, kick ass and all that stuff. So let's get the heck out of here before we leave. Oh, just wait one more thing. Now that you, uh, now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask uh, your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. Wait, really? What is he gonna give us? Oh. Oh. What is the, that thing, Professor? This is a Pokedex that I have designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or cut and it makes a, an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Draven and Trace, I want you each to take one for with you. And I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a Pokedex from Professor Oak! Okay, so let's see. You'll find out, uh, you'll f or you'll find you can't get every detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm old, I'm an old man now. I'm too old to get a job done for myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Of course, Trace is going to be like, Hey, Pokedex, huh? We're going to meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now. Draven, you should do the same. If you think you're ready, that's it. Okay, that is. I, I, I don't even know. Okay, so we're going to continue our episode right here, guys. Trust me, I know. I usually stop around this time. But kind of need to show you a few things. Differences in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Now, once we get out of the house or the uh, the, the Pokemon or Professor's uh, lab, Mama's here. And she's like, "Oh, how cute! This is one of uh, this is the one you got uh, from the, the Professor. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your friend or your new friend? Sparky. It's a lovely Pokemon. And of course, Pikachu's just loving it. My, how energetic." I suppose that means that you two will be setting off on your adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. We got ourselves the town map from Mama, because she loves us a lot. Let's see. By using the town map in your bag, you'll always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Sparky be uh, good to each other. Alrighty, you see? Have yourself a mom like that. Got your back and everything. That's right, she's got her back, Jack. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, you know, finally see what this is all about. As you can see, we're looking at Oddish right there. All the Pokemon you're going to be able to see, but the funny thing about that is that these Pokemon are not going to be, they're not going to be easy to just escape. So, here we are going up against an Oddish, and we start off with 50 Pokeballs right here. Now, the way you get experience points is through capturing as many Pokemon as possible. It doesn't even matter how many Pokemon of the same kind you get. 
you capture as many Pokemon as possible, that's how you level up your Pokemon the best. Now, here we are, I'm gonna be throwing this thing at it, and bam, look at that. Come on, stay in the ball, stay in the ball! Throwing out that B-side. Yes sir, Rebub, I'm throwing out that B-side. So there it is. As you can see, it shows us the bonus multiplier. New Pokemon, great throw, first throw, technique bonus, we get experience points, we get a pin at Barry because it was holding it, and look at that, Sparky gets 38 experience points without doing anything. So here is the Pokedex entry, and it says, It may be mistaken for a clump of weed. If you try to yank it out of the ground, it shrieks horribly. Well, okay, alrighty. So it has been added to our party. And like I said, guys, like I said, it doesn't matter how many Pokemon you catch. This is the way you actually get experience points, which, you know, it kind of sucks. Oh, I missed that Pokeball. Let's go. All right, you little bastard. There we go. And that was excellent right there. So hopefully if I capture it, it's going to give me a buttload of experience points right here. Look at that. Throwing out that peace sign yet again. Yes, sir, Bob. Look at that. Okay. So we're getting 19 experience points. And look at that. Pikachu or Sparky has grown to level 6 right here. And it just learned Quick Attack. Now, many of you guys are wondering, when are we going to battle? Very, very soon, guys. Trust me. Very, very soon. So as you can see, Pidgey, very docile if attacked. It will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going through the party. Okay. So that is how you capture Pokemon right here in Let's Go. You go through the grass. It's not going to be like, you know, automatic random encounters. Now, another thing you should, you should notice is that you can actually go through these bushes right here. Now, a telltale sign if you know there's an item is you got to look at Pikachu's uh, tail. It will actually act as an item finder right here. And unfortunately, there's nothing in there right now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can hop down from them. You'll get back to Pellet Town quicker than that way. Okay. And I'm trying not to get or get or get with uh, PG right here. And well, Pikachu's not its tail's not wiggling. So let's just go right ahead and just escape these guys. Let's see. Maybe I don't know. I'm just going through bushes just to try and find uh, a items and all that stuff. And as you can see, these Pidgeys just pop out of nowhere. And well, there's nothing right here. Let's go right ahead. One more bush. There is nothing. Let's... Oh, wait. Pikachu's seen something. Let's see what you got. Well, what's up, buddy? Sparky found something in the plants. We found ourselves a raspberry, which you can actually use, uh, you know, during the trying to capture the Pokemon thing, you know, that kind of stuff. You got pretty sweet Pokemon with, uh, with you. I'll bring along my favorite Pokemon later so we can... Uh, so you better battle me when I do. Okay, I guess. Alrighty, so let's see. We're going on to the next town right here. Here it is, Viridian City, guys. And what does it say? Trainer tips. If you run out of Pokeballs, you can buy more at the Pokemart. Alright, Viridian City. We're going to Viridian City. Alrighty, look at this. So here is the Pokemart. And like I... Oh, wow, it's going under maintenance right here, so we can't do nothing. So like I mentioned before, guys... In Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, there will not be any PCs inside the Pokemon Center. You actually have them right there at your pocket. So, do not be worried about trying to, like, you know, try to encounter the PC or anything like that. And then, let's see. Have you battled the trainer? If your Pokemon speed say is higher than the opposing Pokemon uh, stat, you'll attack first, which I kind of already knew. Alright, so, let's go. Let's go ahead and, uh visit more of this place right here so here's Viridian City and if you take a look up ahead there's a uh, familiar people that we've seen in uh, in a show here and there so let's go right ahead and see what these guys are all about and well of course Meowth is just Meowthing he doesn't speak and this guy's like what are you doing here twerp shoo go pester someone else okay dick what do you want you can't pass through here right now we're in the middle of guard duty, and it's are very important. Wow. Okay. So, let's see if we can go right behind here and, uh, you know, find something of importance right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a potion. Like always. It would have been much better if we found, like, a Pokeball right there and 
you know, said that it's a potion and all that stuff. Okay, so going around Viridian, talking to the people right here. I can't go through these bushes. I think we should be going into the Pokemon right here, right? This guy, the clerk, he's like, hey, you came up from Palatown. You must know Professor Oak, right? I've got a delivery for him, but I really can't leave the Pokemon unattended right now. Can I get you to take this to Professor Oak for me? And without saying yes, we are going to get the parcel for him. Okay, so let's see. Thanks, kid. Say hi to Professor Oak for me. Okay. And do you want to head back to the lab? Yes, I want to head back to the lab because I think that's a bunch of tutorials right there. I don't even know. So let's go ahead and talk to Professor Oak right here. And he'll be like, why Draven? Back so soon? How is little Pikachu doing? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, he's loving me. Pikachu's loving me a lot. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That a boy. See? This Pikachu loves me already from the get-go, because it knows how badass I am. Goodness me, Pikachu here seems to really like, uh, really, really come to be a true partner to you, Draven. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Yes, I got the parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor! It's about, it's about my Eevee. Its moves are... Whoa, Draven! That's so cool! Pikachu just dry, or just rides on you like that? Yep. Ah, and now we have Trace as well. What a fine timing. I've just been uh, d delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. And we get ourselves some raspberries right there. And let's see. Great, I've been starving. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. When you want to eat, or when you, when you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of these uh, at your target before you take a Pokeball at, in hand. You'll find that the berry or that the wild Pokemon will be as so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. That was close. I nearly swallowed one of them, uh, one of them right up myself. Huh. Now then, you two. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you have fun either way. Okay. Have fun either way. Okay, we could do that. Now, before we do anything, Trace right here is going to be like, wait up. Come on, Draven. You know what? You know you, you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer... You can have Pokemon battles with your other with other trainers too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. So here it is, guys, our very first Pokemon battle. And it's against our rival Trace. And this guy's got himself like one of them evil ass faces. Alright, let's go right ahead. Maximum effort, and hopefully this doesn't end up like in Pokemon Yellow. So let's go, Sparky. Let's destroy this guy. So it's Eevee versus Sparky. I think I got uh, just a move for it. So here we go. Thundershock. Oh, yes. And here comes its tackle right here. Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go. Again, Thundershock. Finish this guy off. Yeah, buddy. And still nothing, but here it comes with its growl attack. So it's really trying to do something to me right here. I'm trying to paralyze this guy. So here we go again. Thundershock for the win. Nearly does it! Good God! And here comes its quick attack, or its tackle attack right here. So, let's go right ahead. Finish this guy off with a little bit of a quick attack. Let's go, Pikachu. Eat it, Eevee. Throwing out that peace sign. Completely different. <laughs> and look at that. We get experience points, and we defeated our, our rival. What? Did I lose? Yes, you did. Just beat you. Aw, oh, jeez. There I went mouthing off like I knew everything, and then I lost. How embarrassing. Sounds familiar. Sounds like Pokemon Yellow version. <laughs> I probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying a battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. Did you enjoy your first uh, taste of battle, Dung Dreaming? Your partner, Pikachu, seems to like it. It does. Okay, guys, so this was the very first episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Now. The schedule for this one will always be Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
I don't know what else, what what other days I, I want to do this. Since this game is very easy to just like find, finish, and all that crud, I'm gonna record as many episodes as possible for you guys. That way, you know, I don't miss anything. Now remember, I still have Pokemon X as my main walkthrough. Pokemon Omega Ruby is about to be done. Hell, Pokemon Heart Gold is coming back on the weekends. Yes, this pandemic may be kicking our asses just because. We can't do anything, you know, from playing sports or anything like that or going back to school. But guess what, guys? I'm still here to entertain every single one of you guys. So thank you once again. Stay safe out there, guys. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.